Welcome friends. Today we are going to turn this hog leg into prosciutto, or we're going to start the process of turning this hog leg into prosciutto. Now Jamie the butcher was here and he helped me cut out all of the parts that needed to be removed to get this prepped. But there's one thing left that I need to do and that is to push any blood that's left in the femoral artery out because that will spoil. So let's see what happens. Now my understanding is we squeeze along here and if there's any blood in the artery, it will come out just above the bone. Okay. We did get a little bit of blood out, so I'm just gonna soak that up because that will spoil the leg. Now, um, this is just a straight salt cure. There's no other flavorings, it's just salt. So I've got kosher salt. Actually, I've got a lot of kosher salt. I've probably got 50 pounds of kosher salt and a giant bin that I'm going to put this in. But before we put it in the bin, you need to push as much salt as possible into all of these crevices and make sure that it's all filled. So let's get to it. And the most critical part is apparently right at the top of the femur. You want to make sure that you get salt in there everywhere. up under the skin here where it's pulling away, in between the muscles. Okay, so I think I've got all of the crevices packed and we can, uh, we can still work on this once it's in the bin and we start pouring the salt in. So the next thing is the bin. And it's a very big bin. Um, I'm going to move this down to the floor to make it easier. Okay, so I've got a giant food safe bin and I'm just going to put a layer of salt in the bottom to make sure it's completely covered. Okay, so I've got a good two inch base of salt in the bottom of this container. I'm going to move the leg into the salt. And so now we just lay the leg in here, into the salt, push it away from the side because you want to get salt all around. And you can already see where the salt is starting to pull liquid out of the leg, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, you just fill this up with salt. Okay. Now you want to make sure it's completely covered in salt. You also want to make sure that uh, the ham or the leg isn't touching the side of the bin, that you've got salt all around it. You want to make sure it's fully submerged in salt. And I'm almost there. I just need a little bit more. Okay. We're fully covered in salt. Salt encasing it all the way around. The next part is just waiting. Now, this is where it gets a little bit difficult. I've read a whole bunch of different opinions from people who are very well respected and do this for a living. Anywhere from a half a day per pound to two days per pound is what I've read online and in books and through research of how long this needs to sit before we move on to the next section. So I weighed this ahead of time. It's 22.7 pounds. Um, that is the leg weight. So we could go anywhere from 15 days to 23 days um, in a cool space in the salt before we move on to the next step. I think I'm going to do one day per pound since that seems to be the majority of people say that. I've also read that this doesn't have to go under refrigeration at this point. As long as it's packed in salt you could leave it at room temperature. Other people say it's best to put it under refrigeration. Since I've got a spot that will take a bin this big I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to check it every few days to make sure that there isn't a lot of liquid at the bottom. If there is a lot of liquid at the bottom, I'm going to pour that off and I'm going to add more salt. So I'm going to get this into the fridge um, and I will see you in 30 days. 
Okay, time has passed and we're ready for the next step in the process. Now I'm down in our brewery because I've got this big stainless steel sink. We need to put the leg in here and rinse off all of the salt. We need to clean it up completely before we can move on to the next step. Okay, all rinsed and ready to go for the next step. And that is, um, you want this to dry out. Um, we've already lost two and a half pounds of water weight. That time in the salt has drawn out two and a half pounds of water and ostensibly salt has gone into the meat to start the curing process. We still need to lose probably another four or five pounds of water weight. Um, you need to lose about 30% of the initial weight for it to be considered cured, uh, and then it still probably has to hang in order to develop flavor. The problem is, if you just hang it the way it is right now, um, all of this is going to dry out, and especially this area down here where the meat is exposed, it's going to dry out really quickly. And if it dries out too quickly, it'll form a really hard skin and then trap moisture inside the leg. And you don't want that to happen because that trapped moisture could lead to spoilage. So I've looked up a whole bunch of different things um, and the sort of most old school method seems to be to mix pepper into lard. And so this is the lard that I rendered from the pig uh, in the first episode of the Carving Up the Pig series. You saw me pull the fat from the interior of the pig rendered it out in another video, and then I've mixed some of it with pepper. And the idea is that you rub the peppered lard all over the leg. Uh, this keeps it from drying out too quickly, keeps it supple, allows the moisture to escape, and the pepper has the added bonus of keeping any insects away from the leg, which would also cause spoilage. So, uh, the only way to do it is to dig in and do it. First though, I'm gonna pat this dry and just kind of get any excess moisture off the outside. You don't need to dry it completely, and it mostly is dry anyway. Okay, now rub on the fat. My understanding is it doesn't have to be too thick. Um, you just need to kind of get it on there. Okay, so fully coated in pork lard now. And I did all over the skin. I've read different things. Some people say do it all over the skin. Some people say you don't have to. Um, this is my first time, so I did it just in case. Now there's a spot here where I can put a rope through under the tendon. That's why we left the hoof on, um, to make sure that it would give me some place to tie it. If you get one that the hoof isn't left on and you just have the hawk, um, it would be a little bit harder to hang. So I'm gonna put this through a couple times just so I can get it tight. Now this will hang in my basement, like I said. Um, I've got a room that is kept at about the right temperature, especially through the winter time, and this is October. So we're just going into the cooler months not only the temperature is correct, but the humidity is correct. And I have a little thing, uh, if you've watched the Guanciale video, I have a little thing called a sensor push that monitors the temperature in that room. Um, I use it as part of my brewing as well. So I know that this is going to hang in the right temperature and humidity. And it will be um, October 2020 when it's ready. So come on back in October 2020 to see how this turns out. I will be doing some videos through the middle, um, just as updates to let you know that it's still hanging there. So, October 2020, and this will be prosciutto. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.